Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. In the last episode, we started the game and we witnessed... I think we witnessed a murder. Well, I don't know, it was like a ghost murder. Poor old Boris never stood a chance. There's a picture of his dead body. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. It is a nice photo. Maybe you've, uh, you're in the wrong field here, Agent Ray. Um, we went up from the Trestle Trail up to the highway and we need to go see the Sheriff of Thimbleweed Park. However, um, we did come across some very interesting looking characters before the end of last episode. The Pigeon Brothers or something? Oh yes, oh they're plumbers. Oh of course they are. Yes, pi oh, bigger pigeon. Big pigeon. <laughs> Which one? I, I would imagine. The bigger pigeon is the uh, you know the the superior one in charge, but maybe not. Let's just talk to the big pigeon. Signals are very strong tonight. Uh, one of these is definitely more pressing. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Yeah, hang on. Brothers, if your sisters, everything's upside down. What's going on in this crazy town? Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. All right, fine. What stupid signals? What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Shut up already. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. This is really odd. Should I save my game? Don't worry. I already did that. Way ahead of you. I think I've had enough of you. Uh, I need to find the sheriff. Well, it seems a bit early just to ditch him. Um, let's just threaten them. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Wait a minute. Boris had a a puncture wound on the back of his head that wasn't a gunshot. Maybe it was a beak. Oh, step back, Agent Ray. Oh. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Oh, thank goodness. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't think we've really played many games where you can die. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis you could, and I think you could die at one point in the Monkey Island games underwater, but that was it. Um, not like those, it, well, there's like a particular um, set of games by a publisher that was really, really harsh and now the name's escaping me. Oh well. Um, but playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. It really has, especially for a recording. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> it was Sierra. That's I think that's who I was trying to think of back then. Um, I'm guessing this is like the the annoying in jokes. This is part of that, <laughs> which uh, I'm glad I turned that on. This seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It really does. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning, but it really pays off in the end. It better. It better had. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. 
Nice talking to you too. Beep. Oh, the signal the signals are strong tonight. Squeak. Oh, that's really click, annoying. Click, 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 click. Oh, Woo. let's just get out of here. Click, click, click. Wah. Wait, can I go in their van? Click, 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 click. Let's look inside here. We're we're an agent. We have the authority. Squeak. No need. The perps are outside. Oh, okay, fine. Wah. I like the big tap. That's nice. All right, what's uh, what's further on? How far away is this stupid Thimbleweed Park? I forgot what the sign said. 1.8 miles or something? Oh. Oh, well. Bye. Bye, Beth and Emily, I think it was. Do we go to the Thimbleweed Cemetery? It, it seems like not the right thing to do right now. So let's do it. Oh, okay. I like this. Can we read the, the gravestones? No, we can't. Fair enough. What is in here then? There's always a graveyard, isn't there? Like in Monkey Island, I swear there's loads of graveyards in all the games. Carry on. Can we still switch to... Hang on, this is a little test. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. I can carry on switching between them. Okay. Interesting. Well, you wait here, Reyes. Wait, why am I turning green? Am I ill? Is that just the lighting? Am I Alphaba? <laughs> What's going on? I think it was just the lighting. This is a really long and winding road. The long and winding road that leads to the tomb. No, I just carry on. This is a big old cemetery and I don't think there's going to be anything here for now. Whoa. Whoa, where am I now? Okay. Yeah, nothing. <gasps> Look, it's Murray! <laughs> no, no, wait. <laughs> oh, there is a tomb. I was right. And there's some flowers. Flowers left over from a funeral. Oh, it's Chuck. Oh, wow, he's got a big old tomb. He must have been very important. Can I take these flowers? Oh, I can. A flower from the cemetery. That's a bit rude to do that, but never mind. It's Chuck's final resting place, apparently. I'm gonna guess we can't go in there. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. Yeah, as I thought. Oh, we never looked at the tuna can. Is an empty oh, yes, can of crock is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Uh yes we did. Alright, um I don't really think there's anything we can do here then, so that was a complete waste of time. Can I just look in there? The heavy wrought iron gate to the tomb is closed, but I see a switch inside. Alright, well we know there's a switch inside, fair enough. Um, let's go all the way back. Jeez, okay. Well at least on the way back I can, um, I can double click as well. At least on the way back I can briefly mention something I mentioned last time. Or started to about how, you know, this is Ron Gilbert designed this, produced this alongside uh, Gary Winnick. Who they they partnered up for some of the old LucasArts games back in the you know the early 90s or late 80s even like um, Maniac Mansion, but you know Ron Gilbert he's done he did Maniac Mansion, Monkey Island one and two the first two which um, a lot of people would say are the best ones. I I don't know I think they've all got their positives to them. Uh, I think I think I've said in the past I think the third Curse of Monkey Island is actually my favourite. But um, the first two are obviously very good, apart from that weird ending to the second game. Um, 
and he did Day of the Tentacle as well, so, you know, he's, he's done a lot of the games that we've already played on this channel. Haven't played Maniac Mansion though, but I could have, because it was inside the Day of the Tentacle game. Um, maybe in the future. There's just too many to play. It's just way too many. There's a bottle. It's an empty soda bottle. Let's do that trash tag. T let's do this. Take a picture of us and then pull it on social media. And then we'll get loads of likes because we're doing a good thing. Wait for me! Oh, there's Ray as he caught up. Uh, does that... what we just watched, does that mean someone was recording us? Someone hidden in the bushes? Creepy ghost mugger? Murderer? I don't know. Uh, there's the sign that was shot through. Population 80? Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna stay as Agent Ray though. I think I like... Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should give Reyes a chance, but I do like the cut of her jib. No nonsense. Let's give Reyes a chance, though. Um, down Main Street. It says Main Street. Thank you, Reyes. Yes. Is there, like... It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Oh, okay. So left clicking. Does left click do what is highlighted? Let's just check. It's dark, but I can see ah, there's nothing in there. Okay, so then that... It says Main right. Street. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's good. That's useful. So I don't need to keep going down and then back up. Right. Wheelie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Uh, Not anymore, you don't. Or is it this shop? No, it was definitely that one. Maybe this was before Willy fell on hard times and become an alky. Prestige Realties. Ride the boom. Walk to Hint Line Flyer. What? It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? <laughs> Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm. I don't get it. Oh wow, okay, this is the in-game hint system. I'm glad. I'm, I love a game that has hints. I don't like to use them, but you know, every now and then, I just have to. Um, okay, so we've got to remember that. 4468. Can we take one of these? No. 4468. I can remember that, I think. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Yeah, this place isn't looking too nice, gotta admit. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct. I, I just don't feel like Reyes is gonna have the same intimidating tone, but let's let's try. How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Ah, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only going to get longer. So let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. 
Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? <laughs> I sure hope we are arino. Uh that was a bit weird. I'm getting a I'm getting like a hot fuzz vibe, you know how everyone in the village is a little bit off and there's actually a big secret behind everything. Also, I don't know why that one line of dialogue didn't we didn't say it. There's no audio. Kind of weird. Um but yeah, here we are. We're in the office. This is a very, it's a very nice building. I was just saying how it doesn't look too great this town, but this looks lovely. Look at these paintings and the city seal. The inscription says, Pilotronics, the brain of our city. Right, so something about pillows. Maybe this was a pillow industry city. But then that's now why it's gone bust. Who knows? Uh, what else can we look at here? A water fountain. Gulp, sip, 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 gulp. Slurp, gulp, gulp, slurp. Ah. ah. I should have done the gulps. Well, there's more. Sip, 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 sip. Uh. Gulp, sip, sip, gulp. Slurp, gulp, gulp. Oh, these noises. <laughs> Is this ASMR? <laughs> this is going to be the rest of the episode now, so, um, oh, we're getting some swishes. Alright, that's enough. That's enough of that. Thank you very much. I wonder if uh, Ray would do that. And whether she'd make the same noises. I'm really curious now. Oh, maybe she won't even use it. Oh, she will. <laughs> no. Oh, she laps. No. No, no. Okay, I was just curious. Let's go back. Uh, what's, what's our notebook looking like? Still the same. No notes on the sheriff yet or the pigeon people. Because they definitely do share it, don't they? Yeah. All right. All right, fine. There's the coroner. Let's um Let's go in, I guess. There's nothing else here, is there? Now, nah, let's go have a look. Howdy who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park coroner. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Are these guys related to Dr. Zeus? And also, I mean, is this guy the sheriff's brother? Or is he just the same guy that's going to change his outfit and come back down? <laughs> Are we ever going to see these two in the same room? Right, tell us about the Bloodtron 3000, the Fingertron 3000, oi oi, and the Facetron 3000. Oh yeah, and aren't you the Sheriff? Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we want to... These look very... I mean, this is horrible, having the, some dead feet. Some little uh, little piggies, you know, right in the foreground. But um, do we want to talk about these computers already? I don't know. Blood... Okay, fine. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type. Printing out a report to who? That's useful. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino. The Fingertron 3000. 
insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who Oh, that one sounds a bit more complex. All right. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Gorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno. <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay. So these, these sound very useful. Uh, did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Hmm. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Right, so Chuck, now we know who Chuck is and why we'd have such a big tomb in the, in the cemetery. He made this place. Right, well, I think that's pretty much it with the coroner. I'm getting a bit annoyed, who? Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Mm hmm. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Ah, oh, to be back in 2017 when things seem so much simpler. Okay, well anyway, um, that's probably going to do it for this episode. We've got these computers to have a little tinker around with next time. Maybe try and use up some of these, uh, all this rubbish that we've found I on the floor. I need to stay and... focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Yes, yes, Agent Ray, that's what we'll do next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.